Hello, I'm Ralph Cabbage. Today at Aquaman Knox, we're gonna look at tools. Everybody likes tools. Okay, aquascaping tools and tools you can use for saltwater propagation. I've got three companies here that I want you to take a look at and I want to explain a little bit about tools to you. First of all, tools are not created the same. There are different levels and different qualities from Pakistan, from Germany, from all over the world as a doctor or a seamstress or anybody who likes to work in the yard or likes knives. The better the steel, the longer they last and the better they'll hold their edge. So tools are worth what you pay for them. A lot of times you can get a really inexpensive pair of tweezers or scissors and that's exactly what they are. Just like if you bought really cheap scissors at a Walmart. Okay, so we're going to look today at three lines. First of all, Up Aqua. Up Aqua is a, a Taiwan line of tools. These um, are economical for what you get. They're economical, not as good as the other two ranges I'm going to show you, but they do have one very unique product, which I'll show you. So polished edges, very sharp tip on the professional series, which is nice and easy to plant plants. Same with their tweezer, goes to a sharp pin set. Uh, and then the tool that I wanted to show you is a crazy pair of scissors with some pads on there. What's nice about that, imagine you can cut a straight line like hedges. <laughs> so uh, not many people make a, an angled uh, scissor like that. Most of them angled this way, uh, but that is a unique product to Up Aqua. Up Aqua items, you'll see them on the shelves in a package. It looks like this. It's a hanging package. And in case you're looking for them. The next line that I'm going to show you is Viv. Viv, like their glassware, this is just the best of the best. Nothing out there really compares to it that I've seen or used, and I used everything. Um, if you peel the weight of the scissors, uh, they're just heavy. You can see they're extremely polished. Compare that to uh, a satin finish. Polish, the edges stay sharp. They use carbon steel. Pin sets, I mean, this is one that I personally use. This is an unbelievable pair of scissors for planting uh, plants without damaging roots. All polished edges, and then they're curved uh, tweezers or pin sets, same way. Has a nice soft bend to it, easy to work with. Uh, next, next line is Hydra Aquatics. Hydra Aquatics, you all know them for from 45 degree tanks and quite a few things like the sponge filters that I've talked about before, but they're tools are unbelievable. They did they have two different finishes, a black oxide finish and a shorter set of tools. These are great for salt water or just if you want a tool that'll last you even longer without any wear. This is an added layer of protection. So they have uh, a few styles like that, including a coral cutter, or I use this often to break rocks or wood in my freshwater aquascapes, and two different, both curved and straight tweezer. If you look at their regular satin stainless steel, uh, again, these will not rust. They're high quality, surgical grade stainless steel. Uh, they're longer. So if you look at the, the, this compared to what you'll find typically on the market, they made all of these longer. You can see by the height difference. That's so you don't get wet. Nobody likes to get wet. I don't like to get wet. So same, you've got two huge tweezers. Sharper finish, a fine, uh, finer finish. Hydra, I'm told, is coming out with some pro polished and some new styles this year. So be looking for those in, in new videos. And then my favorite pair of spring scissors available, even including the Viv. Uh, these cut great. The steel's great. But what's totally different about those, if you can see this edge, they do not grind that top edge. They leave it thick. So there's no play or bend in that blade. It'll actually hold its tip longer. From my experience, it lasts longer without having to worry about being sharpened. And then they have a few others. They're pro scissors, they're pro, pro wave scissors are longer than the regular model. They're both the same quality, just two different lengths. And this is the best of the wave scissors on the market too. I don't think there's any out there that are available that are nicer. So that's what we have from Hydro Aquatics and Tools. Another note, something you may want to know, when you're testing tools out, you can do a drop test. And I don't mean drop it on the floor because that won't be good for the tips. But if you take a drop of salt water and put it on your tools, let it sit there until it dries. 
You may even get some corrosion, what seems like corrosion. What you do is you take an eraser. Take that eraser and erase off the rust. You're looking for pitting. If you've got high-grade stainless steel, for, regardless if it looks like it's rusted, you will get no pitting. The product will last. You will not get any rust or anything on a black oxide. Hardly ever do you get it on a polished edge. And with a high surgical grade stainless steel, you usually don't get it on this, but you'll get no pitting, you'll get no damage. So just by rubbing that off, there's iron in seawater, there's iron in, in water supplies, and that iron itself will make it appear as those ru as rusted. So that's what I've got. I'm Ralph Cabbage. This is Aquaman Knox. Thank you. Be sure and follow the links down below for all these tools. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.